this video, I'm going to show you how to do project H, which is the bolt. Um, first thing we need to do is start a new part or standard IPT. Once we get the standard IPT, we're basically going to draw, it's a multiple extrusion, so we're going to draw the head of the bolt, and then we're going to extrude the shaft of it and uh, finish it off. This will be the same as project I, which is going to come up in a little bit. Um, first thing we do is start 2D sketch, click on the XY plane, and then we're going to go to a polygon. This is a six-sided polygon, so under rectangle, click the arrow, and then go down to polygon. Now, it says six. Now, it's important that you just bring the cursor over and start drawing. Don't hit enter on it. We're going to bring it on a six-sided polygon, and it doesn't matter what the shape is right now or what the size is. Um, we're going to dimension it now. So when you dimension, it's very important that you do this way to dimension it. You have to go across the flats. So there's one flat side, and we go straight across and click the other flat side, and then you bring it across. That is 0.75. If you just click a line and drag it out, your diameter or your um, uh, width across the bolt head is going to be almost double of what it should be. So make sure that you click this line and that line when you dimension. Then you can right click and cancel. At this point, we're going to finish our sketch and we're going to extrude to 0 0.44. Okay. Now, uh, what we're going to need to do is put the bolt on here. So we're going to start a 2D sketch on the surface of the bolt, and we're going to draw a circle. And if you bring it in here, you should see some dotted lines. If you don't, you can just put it anywhere. Um, I believe I started here on, on the center. But what we want to do is make sure that we dimension this. So we're going to dimension it from here to here, and half of 0.75 is 0.375. And it should be the same as the other edge. So, oops, cancel. All right, so when I have that constraint that popped up, it's because I already have it in the center. I use the same center circle. Otherwise, what you're going to have to do is click there, click there, get a dimension. Click this one to the center, get a dimension. So you have two points of reference. Okay, so I'm already in the center. I have to dimension the diameter of the circle, and that is 0.375. And at this point, then we just need to finish sketch and extrude that. So I'm going to hit the house button here, extrude it, and what I want to do is extrude the circle. It's going to stick out, and that distance that it sticks out is going to be 1.5. Hit the house button and zoom back in. Now there's two more things we need to do other than save this. One is to thread it. And the other is to put a um, chamfer on it. So in order to thread it, we're going to come up to where it says hole. And click on the down arrow and then there's a thread command. Once you select that, all you need to do is click on the bolt. And then hit OK and you have it threaded. To do the other side, we're going to flip all the way around, and we are going to put a chamfer on here, which is under our fillet, and then go to chamfer. And the edge right here, make sure you do this the right way, it's 0 0.05. And you're going to click on all edges on the back side here. So it'll be six edges. And then you hit the check mark or enter. Now you have your bolt all done. You've got a chamfer to one end, thread it on the other, and all you have to do then is save it. So we go to File, Save. Make sure you go into your class folder, class CMW, Rogers, try to whatever hour you're in, and your name. And save this one as Project H, or just H. Okay? And that is it.